house deals his, you know, his friends, two of his friends, and they finally deal him, and they say, okay, and they deal themselves. And, and Mickey was sitting over here, and he's like, yeah, okay, cool. Looks at his cards, he's going, oh, gosh, I got a good hand here. I'm going to bet some money on this. And he bets everything he has or everything he can think of, and he puts it all on the table. And then the house turns over their cards, and they've got a royal flush. Ugh, really? I thought I had a good hand. Now, in his mind, he, if he knew the odds of, of the house dealing themselves a royal flush from a single deck, that would be 10 to the 5.813, a 1 in 650,000 chance of dealing yourself a royal flush. That's why you should never play those, those uh, poker machines and hoping for the royal flush. Oh, I've got three of the, four, of the five cards, and you're going to actually hoping you get a 1 in 650,000 chance, really? So I can see, though, if he's playing cards here, and he might get frustrated and say, okay, well, and, I mean, it does happen, right? I mean, you, maybe you've seen it. That it's possible to get a royal, it's not that outrageous. Okay, so he stays in the game, and they deal a second hand. And now he looks at his second hand, and he goes, oh, my gosh, a straight flush. That's good, right? So what else can I, he puts his house on the line, okay? He mortgages his house, puts his bet, and sure enough, Another royal flush. Really? What are the odds of somebody dealing themselves two consecutive royal flushes with one? Uh, really? You want what they are? They're this. I think at this point, most reasonable people would say, nay, nay. <laughs> something's, not, something's not legit here. I'm, I'm out. But no, no, he's committed to his worldview, so he stays in. <laughs> and sure enough, the house deals three royal flushes. What are the odds of this happening? Pretty high. Do you see our number so far? Well, that number... How does that relate to some of our universal constants? Let me show you the number, for example, of the strength of gravity, the calibration. I want you to see what this number is, just so you have a sense. How many royal flushes would you have to deal in a row to approximate this number? A bunch. It turns out you would need six royal flushes in a row to get to the calibration for gravity, which is... Now, how many does it take to get to this calibration? This is the calibration necessary for quarks. Now, if you know anything about physics, I won't go into all the details, but these are the kind of, I've written it out here for you. The mass is associated with particles. This is really about the nucleus of the atom and how these hold together. You have to have a certain ratio of these. If it's too high or too low, you don't get atoms to form. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. But how do I get to this number? That's a high number. How many royal flushes am I willing to sit through well, it turns out you would have to have 12 royal flushes to approximate that number in a row. What about the precision required to calibrate the energy density of space? That's 10 to the 90th power. That means you've got to sit at the table, and he takes that same deck of cards, and he deals himself not 12 in a row, but a bunch more in a row. So it seems to me, if, if Mickey Okako is so committed to his worldview that he refuses to believe that something is... Tan Are you really going to sit through that many royal... Before you'd say, get away from me, this is all a scam. There's no way you can deal that many... To deny that God, that somebody, something has fine-tuned the, the universe and the constants in the universe would be as stupid as sitting there and allowing somebody to deal themselves 28 royal flushes in a row and not get up from the table. Now, if, you, if this happened to you, you're gone. Two royal flushes in, you're gone, right? If it happens twice, you're out of there. Yet, these smart people would allow themselves to be dealt this 28 times and still say, yeah, this is the way it is. I guess I'm unlucky. 